Hi, dear students. I am Gautam, teacher in computer science at Marygiri English Medium School, Srikantapuram. I have been working here for last 10 years and I am very happy to be here at Marygiri as I am getting a good number of highly talented, intellectually capable, emotionally mature students all these years. We got 100% marks in computer science in many years and become national toppers as well as state toppers. We maintain a high school average of 95% every year. The specialty is 99% of our students who have passed out of Marigiri are joining for computer science related courses like computer science engineering, IT, BSc computer science and BCA. And many of our students are studying in India's premier institutes like IAT, Indian Institute of Technology, IIIT, Indian Institute of Information Technology, NIT, National Institute of Technology and BITS. And of course, Kerala's top colleges like CET Trivandrum, uh, TKM Kollam and Thrissur Engineering College and other private universities and colleges. We follow a standard, a culture in our school and we call it as coding culture. Of course, our computer science students do not let the time to be wasted doing simple things. They do come to computer lab all the time whenever they get free time and during the interval. And you know one thing, they are coming to the computer lab during their lunch break. Of course, they do finish their lunch in five to 10 minutes and they are coming to computer lab and they spend 15 to 20 minutes there in computer lab. And what they are doing is of course coding and they do uh, enhance their creativity, productivity, and of course the thinking capacity and punctuality indeed. And this is why I welcome you to study computer science in Marigiri. As you are planning to join for science in Marigiri, I will give you a brief on the career options after completing your plus two. And these are the three career areas, engineering, medical and other courses. Of course, the first comes engineering. And these are some, some of the engineering branches, computer science and engineering, mechanical engineering, electronics and communication, civil engineering and electronics and electrical engineering and we have a number of engineering streams like mechatronics, petrochemical engineering, petroleum engineering. There are a number of engineering streams available for you and here always stands on the top of the list is CSE, Computer Science and Engineering. When you watch it closely, you can understand one thing. Uh, those students who have qualified India's best exams, India's toughest exams like IAT, JE, Main or Advanced and other university exams or other entrance exams, all are opting for computer science and engineering. The seats which are filled first is of course computer science engineering seats because of its trend and it has been following the trend for the last eight years. And when we move on to medical, we have a number of options. And in CBSC, CBSC recommends five subjects to study to complete their plus one plus two course. And for engineering, you can have physics, chemistry, maths, computer science, and English as your subjects. And when you opt for medical course, you can have biology, physics, chemistry, maths, and English. And our school offer various other subjects also optional subjects like hindi malayalam physical education fashion designing home science and psychology you can opt any of that and those who are not interested in either engineering or medical course you can go for other courses like nda that is national defense academy you can get into nda to become officers in indian army air force and navy and you can go for CA, Chartered Accountant. You can go for becoming Advocate, uh, passing LLB or LLM, and Fashion Designing and Hotel Management. And these are uh, some of the courses offered under Medical, MBBS, BDS, PharmD, Nursing, and a number of paramedical courses. And these are the career options when you opt Science as your plus two stream. Whatever you opt. If you're going for engineering stream, I recommend this engineering stream, like opting basic uh, things like 
basic subjects like physics, chemistry, maths and computer science of course. There is a big advantage of selecting or on selecting computer science in your plus two if you are going for engineering. I am coming to it. And for medical course it is better to have biology and other courses you can have general options. You can have any, any combination of subjects. Back to computer science, here in Marigree we have a huge computer lab. Actually we have three labs uh, with hundreds of systems. One is set up for kids and other four, other two are for other students. And why computer science? Knowingly or unknowingly, we all are making use of computer science technologies or trends. Of course, these are some of the trends or some of the later technologies that rules us or that may partial or full control over us. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, IoT, blockchain, plus we have a number of like edge computing and there are a number of technologies or number of trending topics in this computer science area. Okay, we can have a look on all these topics. We can start with AI. You know what AI is? Artificial intelligence. Actually, what is AI? Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science and electronics that helps us to code machines. Of course, computers or machines have no intelligence on its own. It has no capacity to think on its own. So using AI, we are making our machines more intelligent. They can act like human. They can behave like human. And machine learning works hand in hand with artificial intelligence. What is machine learning? We help or we code machine to learn by themselves. Actually, these two are correlated. And the specialty is our computer softwares work with fixed or changeable algorithms. But the specialty of AI and ML is that it doesn't work with a fixed algorithm. It works on experience, knowledge. And you can see a number of applications of artificial intelligence. Applications like robots, driverless cars, and user-centered, user-customized designs of YouTube, Facebook, Google, and knowledge navigators like Siri, Cortana, and Google Voice Assist are some of the examples only. And DS, data science. Of course, data is vital. We all are dealing with data. We are dealing with small amount of data, but big institutions deal with complex data. So to manage data is somewhat very complex. So data scientists are doing or managing complex data very easily. Then comes IoT, Internet of Things. We all are connected to internet, right? When, suppose, we are leading a smart life, we will have smart machines like smartphone, smart watch, smart car, smart home, smart office, everything will be smart. And what is smart? And one specialty of smartness in computer is all these will be connected. When, while sitting at your home, you can manage everything, you can manage your office. You can see what all is, what all things are happening in your office. So world is getting closer, world is getting smaller and simpler using all these technologies. And of course blockchain, it's about cryptocurrency. You know Bitcoin, that is the safest method of transferring money or funds. But it is not legal in all the countries. So these are some of the areas of computer science that you can study during your plus two time or even after completing your plus two. There are, these are some of the specialization courses in your graduation. So that is what computer science is special for you. As I have told you, computer science ruled us or make partial or full control over us. As I have told you, our computer science students are working too smart and I can proudly tell you one thing, they are doing their project work in both the years, plus one and plus two. In plus two, they are coding 3000 to 5000 lines of code. It is simply amazing. And for doing such a nice lines of code, such a huge number of codes, they need a thorough knowledge on the topic and we are doing that. And we have 
our, in our syllabus, our main focus is on Python. In plus one and plus two, our main focus is on Python. In addition to Python, we have database concept, language SQL. We will learn SQL also. Plus, we have number of other topics also. Uh, something related to law, something related to electronics, Boolean algebra, and other some of the topics. We are not getting into it. And Python, you know Python. Python is the most commonly used, most widely accepted computer language for the current time. Why? Do you know why? Because of its features. You can see it is easy. Why Python is easy? You know the specialty of Python. Python is the most commonly used computer language for all these topics, all these trending scenarios. In AI, machine learning, data science, blockchain, IoT, every technology uses Python as its main developing language. It is just because of its features, its characteristics. The characteristics of Python makes it widely used, widely accepted computer programming language for the time being. And it is easy. Why? What makes it easy? It is, it consists of commonly used English words. And it has actually, it, 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 we can say, definitely we can say, it is not following that strict syntax of other programming languages. We can't say it is syntax free, but is it, for, for an extent we can say it is syntax free. Then it is an object oriented. You know the concept of object oriented. Actually we are programming, we are modeling based on the real world models or real world entities. Like when you develop a calculator, first we are thinking of the operations, the operands, all that, right? So when we think of developing a software, we are taking examples from the real world. So programming will be that easy for us. Then there comes portable. You know what portability is? Uh, you may be working with different platforms like uh, Windows, Mac, Linux or Unix based. Okay, so Python, Python programs work the same in every platforms. Okay, suppose when you're developing a program in Windows, you can simply port it to Linux or to Mac. Okay, so portability is another important feature of Python. Then it's a high level programming language. Of course, what is a high level programming language? High level programming language is a kind of language that consists of English words, commonly used English words like if, else, for, while, print are some of the words. And that, that makes what Python a high level programming language. And it consists of large standard library. That is the most important speciality or a feature of Python programming language. What is the use of having such a huge library? It is very simple. We don't have to make too much things. Everything is available. So we can just make use of those things to develop our program. So we can develop our programs. We can develop the software at a very faster rate. That is the advantage of having such a huge standard libraries. Most of the things do not want to be developed, do not want to be coded. Most of the things are available. We have to just make use of those things. So hope it is simple, right? Okay. And the last is GUI programming, graphical user interface programming. You know what it is, GUI. The visible part of a software is what? GUI is. So to, to make an interactive, a user-friendly software, we can make use of Python programming language. So all these features make Python one of the simplest, one of the most flexible language to learn. So it is very simple for you. It is very simple in the sense you can code it just like doing your favorite things. Okay, I can guarantee you that. So we are going to study Python the language Python in plus one and plus two. I can tell you one more thing. This is very simple as you're doing your favorite things, just like playing, just like sleeping, right? Okay, that is what we are going to do in plus one and plus two. We all are making use of all these technologies in our daily life. So to learn or to know these technologies will also be good. The world is traveling with computer science. So thinking and knowing about computer science is the best practice I can recommend. And this is all for the time being. 
and if you have any doubt you can ask me you can call me personally or you can put in the comment box and you have I think you have enough time to think yourself what to do and what to opt okay so thank you for watching we can have more on this in the coming videos and thank you thank you for watching have a nice time take care